So today we are going to be talking about something that you guys have requested for me to make a video on for a very long time. We are going to be talking about the future of Ark Survival Evolved, which is obviously Ark Survival Evolved 2. We're going to be going through in the information that we know so far, but also we're going to be talking about what you can expect coming up for the rest of the year until we can think about anything to do with Ark Survival Evolved 2. Now, as always, if you do enjoy today's video, smash that like button. Let's try and go for over 1,000 likes on today's video. On the last video, I asked for 2,000 likes, which was for the Big Crystal Isles update. And you guys absolutely smashed that target. Way over 2,000 likes. So thank you so much. And make sure to be subscribed if you're not subscribed already. So you don't miss out on all of your Ark Survival Evolved news. Because I know that 2020, well the rest of 2020 and 2021 moving on to the future is going to be huge for this game. Now, there was an interview a while back with the devs at Ark Survival Evolve, which is where we first got our Ark 2 information. We then also found out that Genesis Part 2 is going to be the final paid DLC that there's going to be for Ark Survival Evolved. Now, many people are saying, well, how does that mean Ark 2 is going to be coming out? Obviously, we got this information that I'm going to be reading to you guys, but also it's because Wildcard have stated plenty of times in lots of interviews that they cannot have a stable game without their paid DLCs. They said the paid DLCs is what keeps the game running at a very sustainable revenue mo like sort of module, and if without that, the game wouldn't be functioning and that is how the paid DLCs keep the game going. So if they didn't have them, Arc 1 just couldn't function anymore, which is very, very interesting why this is the last DLC of the franchise, a uh, paid one. So let's read this. Wildcard had originally expected to be working on Arc 2 by now, but the success of Extinction and the previous expansions changed its priorities. Since a full sequel would take years to develop, the studio has been reconstructing our plans and teams in a way that ensures there is still plenty of fresh content for the millions of ARC players while ARC 2 takes shape. Because you guys probably, like, there's so many people that are like, well, I wouldn't say so many, but there are some people sometimes that will come to a video of mine that, let's say, gets more views than the average ones do, and I'm sure it's probably other people that come from other games that are wondering how ARC's doing, and they'll just comment saying ARC is dead. But the thing is, on PC, on average, this is just Steam, there's always an average of 60,000 plus players online every single day. Now that can always go all the way up to 100,000, and when there's a new DLC at 150,000, that's just Steam. On the Xbox and PS4, you're looking at hundreds more thousands of players. So there's points where Ark probably gets close to having millions of players. Like, it's still such a popular game. Now, obviously, the next bit of information here is for Ark 2, we need to give players something new that they're not getting from Ark 1, said Jesse, the, uh, who's obviously works at Wildcard. Um, well, he concluded that. We're not quite sure what that is yet, and we're not ready to talk about it, but what we do want, um, well, um, but what we want to be unshackled from Ark Survival Evolved is we don't want to have to ruin like players' long history of dinosaurs and bases they've had for four years by making changes. That's just a lot of baggage when you're going to make a sequel, and it also frees up us a lot of new things to do with the IP, go in different directions like you can see with Genesis. So the very interesting thing that Jesse says here is, um, so when they say they're not quite sure what that is, we're not ready to talk about it, I'm sure they're pretty ready to talk about it now, because this was obviously a little bit ago, but that is very, very true what he said. It's like, the last four to five years, it's been five now of Ark Survival Evolved, there's been so much that's happened on the servers. There's people that literally take days off work, take time off what they're doing in their life to focus on their official servers because they love the game so much. And to think when the people take out that much time to do what they love, which is play this game on the official servers, and that to all be gone, it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty tough. But then the argument that I always say is with games like Call of Duty and um, FIFA and um, you know all different types of games like that. 
people on those games, let's talk FIFA first, because I know not everyone's going to know what FIFA is, or well, I'm sure you'll know what it is, but you won't play it. I've played it over the years, and people play something called Ultimate Team, which basically you can spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds on Ultimate Team cards and stuff, and the next year it's all gone. And that's the same with Call of Duty. I mean, they've added in more like micro transactions recently, um, and people will spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds, battle passes and things like that, and then the game means nothing the year after. So my argument sometimes to this is I know a lot of people have put hours and hours and hours and hundreds of thousands of hours into this. But sometimes there's always needing something fresh and, fresh and something new. Now I'm not saying that it's, that it's ready for Arc 2 yet. But I would not say no. So obviously this was the poster that we got recently for Genesis Part 2. Um... As, as you can see at the top, you've probably seen this photo lots now. Your survival ends here, 03-2021, which is March 2021 with Arc Genesis 2. Now, that is a clear indication in my eyes, your survival ends here, that it's not that the game's closing down or anything, it just means that it's the end of the story. And there's been a whole story been going on for Arc and over the last five years, and that story is going to end. Now, that doesn't mean that the story of Ark ends. It means that a new one opens up. So, that is very interesting news here. I am so excited for Genesis. There's actually a, a, something we didn't see is on this, when it says your survival ends here, there's actually a teardrop coming from the HNA there, um, which is pretty interesting, that is, because obviously that's like the end of the storyline. But, obviously, as we were reading earlier... It's what comes next now that Genesis is over. Now, obviously, what you guys will know is in October, which is basically next month, it's nearly September, you will be getting the TLC Phase 3. Now, in the past, there's been some other TLCs where dinosaurs have had updates. They've had new um, abilities, new um, like sort of new uh, like models to make them look more updated. And in the past, there was lows. There was um, one. Oh well, you can read them here. One, two, three, four, five in the first TLC pass, and then in the second TLC pass, there was one, two, three, four, five, six dinos that got the change. Whereas sadly, what we know for part. Three, um, they don't actually have that information here, but it is on another post that Wildcard put up. Only two dinos are getting a change. Now, could that be because obviously they're very busy, but at the same time, they're going to want to update more dinosaurs for Ark Survival Evolve 2? That is the one thing I suppose we're thinking about, but I don't really know. But still, it's cool that we're going to see two new changes. We don't know what those dinos are yet, but I'm very excited to see what those creatures will be, well, or which dinos will be changing. What we do know, actually, is it will be old school dinos. They have told us that very, very early dinos. So I'm thinking in my head, Carno has to be one. Moving on. Fear of all three we had back in 2019, October. Now in October until no end of it. So TLC will probably come early October. And then um, unless it comes the same update as Fear of all three, I can't imagine they'd want to put it all into one update. Um, but this is obviously the Halloween event they have every single, well, most years. Sometimes they had um, in 2017, they had the Witch's Curse, which was just just so bad <laughs> it really wasn't great um but yeah and then obviously they have fear of all three this time and then in december they had arc winter wonderland 4 which is the christmas event now wildcard said they're expecting to give us lots of content over winter which is why i'm quite shocked because i didn't really i don't i can't really think to myself what other content there could be that they could give us. Um, I mean, I'm sure there's stuff they haven't even told us yet. We know about TLC. We know about Genesis next year. But we don't really know what's coming for that winter period, apart from how we get the Halloween event, which will be Fear of Old 4, and the Winter Wonderland event, which will be number 5. Now, really, that is all I can tell you right now. I mean, I'm sure many of you guys that are watching this video would have experienced this event before. Within this um, event, you just be able, you can get new items for Halloween, like the masks and the pumpkins and the zombie emotes. So that's what they added in. They added in some emotes so you can pretend to be a zombie. There's a trailer on YouTube if you guys want to go check out. And for the Christmas event, they added in like... Um, 
Uh, that's when they added in um, Gacha Claws. Raptor Claws was the first one um, who obviously flies around the map dropping presents. And then Gacha Claws was where you could like trade with them. They produced Gacha Crystals containing high quality um, equipment and armor and we weapons, which was a pretty cool Christmas gift. And then obviously I think this was the first year that the Chibis were added in where you could get your own little dino pets, which was pretty awesome. And you can obviously check out the Ark Winter Wonderland 4 trailer if you want a little bit of an idea of what to expect in 2020. Now what you'll actually see here as well, which is a really cool calendar they've done, is they've done, they've showed us how crazy it's been. You know, like how 2015, 2016, all the events that they did, 2017. I mean, 20, this was like Prime Arc. Like this is when it was so, I mean, it still is popular, but like it's Prime Arc. Then it was 2017. 2018, 2019, and then obviously Arc Love Evolved, which is the first, um, which was February. Arc Excellent Adventure 5, which was um, uh, April, obviously. Then the fifth anniversary in June. And then we had the Summer Bash, that's the most recent one. And there's only a few to go until we don't know what could be the next stage for Arc. It's exciting. It's scary. I'm actually scared. Like, I, I don't know why. And I know I shouldn't be scared. But it's, it, for me, I do this game full time. And um, on my channel. And it's not that I'm being like, oh, what if Arc does badly? And then no one's going to want to watch Arc anymore. There's obviously a part of that. But the other feeling I have towards it is the scared of change. Everyone's scared of change. And change is good. Which is why I promote Arc 2 coming out. I'm just really hoping that if they do close down Arc 1 and close the servers down and reopen Arc 2 as the brand new game, it's something that the players love and has fixed all the problems and graphical problems within the game moving into next gen with the PS5 and the Xbox One X series. No, Xbox One Series X. That's 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 what it is. Um, but anyway. That is going to be the end of today's video. I hope you guys are interested about the next stage of ARK. We know what's coming so far, but as soon as I find out more information, I let you guys know straight away on my channel. Leave a like, guys. Subscribe. And I'll catch you in my next video. See you guys later.